How to pick a single date without external packages in Flutter. How to choose a time which consists of hours and minutes. How to select a range of dates. And lastly, how can you combine all of this and choose first of all a date and secondly a time. And out of these both you create then your daytime object. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating a single date picker, where we basically can choose a day, month and a year. Therefore, I have created here on the right side already some buttons and if we click here on the first one, then we want to open our date picker. Therefore, I have created here a custom widget button header widget and this basically displays then a button. And if we click on this button, then we want to add our functionality. Therefore, we go back to our build method and here if we click on this button, then we want to add here our functionality inside. And basically, we want to call a method pick date. And within this method, we first of all create here a field initial date. And secondly, we put here this show date picker method inside, which comes from the Flutter SDK. And if we call this method, then later this dialog will pop up where we can choose a date. And inside of this method, we need to supply first of all an initial date. And I set here this initial date to a date of today. And this basically means if you open later your date picker, then initially some date will be picked and this is the date of today. And lastly, you need to add a first date, which is here five years in the past. And secondly, also a last date, which is here five years in the future. And this basically means that you can only pick later a date, which is inside of this specified date range. And now if we execute here this method, then this dialog will pop up and we basically can choose a date and click on OK. And if we have chosen a date, then it is going inside of this field. However, if you choose here cancel instead, then it is then returning here a null value. And therefore we also want to make sure that we catch here this null value and then we don't want to continue. Otherwise, if the user has picked a date which is not null, then we want to put this new date inside of our state. And therefore I simply create here at the top a new field where we put our daytime object inside. On our button, we display here right now the select date text, which you see here on this button. And we want to exchange it. If we have selected a date, then we want to simply put this date inside of our text. And therefore we create here a method which returns then here our text. And initially we put then this text inside. So if the date is now, then it is the select date. And if the date was already picked by the user, then we want to display this date. And therefore you simply can access here your date with the field months, for example. Secondly, you put here the date day inside and you can also access the year of your date. And lastly, we call then here within this text parameter our getText method. And now we can try it out. So I click here on this button. Then we see here this dialog popping up. And here I basically can click on this button to select first of all a year. Secondly, I also can choose here a different month. And lastly, I also can choose here the day. And then I click here on OK. And you should see that the date which I have selected is here inside. And this follows then this format. First of all, the month is displayed here as a number. Secondly, the day, which is then this 11. And lastly, we have here this year, which is displayed. And between we have here every time these separations inside. And if you want to change the order of your date, you simply can put it, for example, the year at the beginning. And then also the year is at the beginning displayed. Alternatively, you also can use another method. Therefore, you go to your pubspec jaml file and here you put this package intel inside, which is for formatting date times. And then you can import this package and create here comfortably a date format. And here we basically first of all display our months, then the day and after it the year. And then you can call here this method format, which requires a date time. And here we put then our date inside, which we have picked before. And this will then also show here our date, first of all, with the month, then the day, and then the year. And if you like, you can also change here the order. So basically I put the year at the beginning and then it looks like this. And you also can always change here the separation if you like. This is also working fine. And if you want to learn more about how you can format dates, you can also read here inside of the Intel package documentation. And then you see here all the things what this package is doing. 
We have still one small problem with our date picker. So if I click right now on this date picker, then you see he is not going again to the date which we have selected previously because we were in 2016 and now he displays 2021. And this is because he has put here again this initial date inside. However, if he has a date already selected, then he should display this date. And otherwise, if we have no date selected, then it should be displaying here our initial date. Therefore, let's try it out again. So I select here date and this time we see here 2016 as a year. And if I click on this date, you see he has selected again this right date this time. Furthermore, we also want to look at how we can select a time. Therefore, we create here a new widget and if we click on this widget, then we want to execute here our functionality. Therefore, we create here a new method pick time and within this method, we first of all create an initial time. And I set this time right now to 9 a.m. And this is basically the time which is later than displayed initially within our time dialog. And secondly, we call this show time picker. And here we put then a context inside and our initial time. The show time picker returns then a time of day. And this is also what we want to create here in our state. And if we later select a time, this is then going here inside. And we also want to set this time inside of our initial time. So if this is set, then we set this time which we have selected. Otherwise, we select the initial time. And this works pretty similar like what I have shown you before with the date picker. Within our time dialog, we have again this cancel button. And if we cancel our time, then we get here a null value. Therefore, we simply check if we have a null value, then we want to return here. Otherwise, if we have set a new time, then we want to simply put it inside of our state and put it here to this field. And now we need to put this time inside of our text. Therefore, I create again a new method get text. And here we basically put then the select time label inside in case we have no time selected. However, if a time was selected, then we want to display our time. And here we can access then the hour of our time and also the minute. And lastly, we need to exchange here our text and put here then this get text method inside. And now we can try it out. So I select here time. Then I choose here an hour and I also choose here some minutes and then I press on OK. However, now you see that the time is not selected here correctly. Instead, it should say here 7, 5. And therefore, we want to add here in front of our 7, 0 and also in front of our 5, 0. And therefore, we go to our get text method and here we basically access our hour. We convert it to a string and then you can use here this pet left method to actually include here another 0 at the beginning. And we also do the same thing for our minutes. We also add here this paid left method and also put another zero at the beginning inside. And then we also display here the new determined hours and minutes within our label. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here a zero at the beginning and also a zero here at the beginning for our minutes. And like before, you always can change here everything within this label. So you can put here some space inside or whatever you like to do. Next to selecting hours and minutes, we also want to select a range of dates. And this is what we want to create right now. To add this functionality, I have created here a more complex UI this time with two buttons where we can select from and until. And therefore, I also create here in this state a daytime range. And this consists then of a start and also an end date. And if we click on this from button, we want to call this pick date range method. And also if we click on this until button, then we also want to call this method. Therefore, we implement right now this pick date range method. And here we create like before an initial date range. And here we put then a start date inside and an end date inside. And for the end date, I simply add here three days. Therefore, I add here 24 hours multiplied three, which are three days. And then we simply create here this show date range picker method. And inside of it, we need to set first of all the first date and the last date. And this basically defines here that we can add date times five years in the past. 
And here we can add date times five years in the future. And within this date range, we need to select then all of our dates. And lastly, we also put here our initial date range inside, which is then this initial date range if we don't have our date range which is this field here at the top supplied. Also within this UI, we have here at the top left corner this cancel button. And if we cancel, then we get here a null value. Therefore, we also want to check that this is not null. And if it is null, we return here. Otherwise, if we got here a new date range, then we want to put this new date range within our state here at the top inside. And lastly, we need to display this date range within our text. So we want to replace this from text and also this until text. And because we have here two texts, I also create here two methods, which are then returning from and until. And within the from method, we want to put then a date format inside. And here we put then the date range start inside, which is then our first date. And within this other method, we do the same thing, only that we put here then the end date inside. Before we can try our UI out, we also want to replace here our text from with this get from method. And also we want to replace here our until with the get until method. And now we can click here on one of these both buttons. And then we basically see here our initial date inside. And like we have defined our initial date, it is starting from the date of today and also is adding here three days. And you see it is then having here this range to this new month, which are exactly three days. However, if you like, you can also add here other date ranges and then you click on save and the date range should be then displayed here within your UI. And like before, if you want to change here how the date is displayed, then you simply change here your date format. So for example, I put here for this from the year at the beginning. And now you see we have here this year at the beginning and you would basically do the same thing here also at this format. With this, we have learned all the basics, how to select a date, how to select a time and also how to select a range of dates. And lastly, we want to look at how we can combine both of these things. So we want to select first of all a single date and after this directly a new dialog will pop up where we can select our time and based out of these date and time we create then here our new text which is then displayed within our button. To implement this functionality I have created here a new button and every time if we click on this button then we want to pick a date time. And within this method, we basically call two methods. So first of all, the pick date method, which we have created before, and also this pick time method, which we also have created before. So first of all, we want to pick our date. Therefore, I call here this pick date method and this returns then a date. And this date can also be null. So it can also return here a null value. And if this is the case, then we want to return here and don't go further. And secondly, after we have selected our date, we also want to select our time. And the same thing here, we can also select here null time and we don't want to care about this case. And after we have selected our date and our time, we can then basically construct a new date time object out of our date and our time. Therefore, I have created here in our state this date time and here we want to store then our date time inside. So let's go back to our pick daytime method and here we basically create our daytime object. And first of all, we pick then the year, months and day out of our date. And secondly, we want to pick the hours and minutes out of our time. And this is also what you put then here inside. And lastly, we need to display then this daytime which we have constructed within our text. Therefore, like before, we create again a get text method and here we display then the label which is displayed if we have no daytime selected. However, if we have a daytime selected, then we want to format our daytime. And this time we also want to include here our hours and minutes within our button text. And to test this out, I also put here the get text method within our text property. And now I can click here on select daytime. And you see that we can first of all select here a date. Secondly, he will switch to the time and I also can select here time. And then I also click on OK and you see that this date and time is then displayed here within our button. And like before, you can also modify this all the time. So for example, if you only want to display the time, then you can also only display here the time inside and so on. So you can do whatever you like here inside. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.